The fly show? Well, fly show. much you need to hear so let's just see uncle jack live right because inside the game there's this um there's this TV, television you can look up at by working by you doing the thingy and it's uncle jack okay i don't want to exit do i oh dear <laughs> that sounds like the ventilator's a bit off shame it sent a lovely whiff of joy into the air Hello? 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 Where, where, where? I've been expecting you. Oh, <laughs> we're back again. Hello there. You must be the winner of the Uncle Jack Fan Club's Get to Know Jack contest. What's oh, so this got some VIs? I hope you are. Well, the bobbies at the front door are being very sloppy indeed. <laughs> As you know, I'm Uncle Jack, and I'm always happy to meet my fans, especially if they can help me. Hi, camera. Over on your right, you'll see the news feeding machine. That's how you feed me the news stories I'm supposed to read. To your right. Your right. You'll see three news stories to choose from. Do try to give me a happy one, won't you? <laughs> Some of the writers get a little mischievous. <laughs> oh, crap. You can only feed me news after. I finished reading the preview story. The machine will light up to tell you when to send me more. <laughs> Isn't technology wonderful? You just read that one. You You'll crooked. have to wait for me to finish See? the story I'm reading up. before you send me another one. <laughs> you wouldn't want me to get muddled, would you? No. <laughs> of course not. Oh, splendid. I'm sure you'll do a smashing job producing my show today. I can I get my mask and just go out there? Good news. <laughs> Jesus, good news. Very good. <laughs> Here we go. On in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, hi. And Keep now it's time for the good news hour with Uncle Jack. <laughs> That's me, Jack Worthing. I'll give you all the news you need to start your afternoon with a smile. I can't give you a thumbs up because it's no matter. How long have we wellies enjoyed joy? Ten? Twelve years? It seems Hamlin amateur historian E.B. Gibbon now claims that a form of joy came to England with the Norman Conquest in 1066. Wow. <laughs> Always scribble, 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 eh, Mr. Gibbon? Maybe the most happy one there. Well, Mr. Gibbon identifies several joy capsules in the Bayeux Tapestry. However, other scholars maintain that they are merely commas. Well, despite not having hello, been able to hello, uh, you do in the towers, Gibbon remains optimistic and, of course, very happy indeed. <laughs> Next card. That one. Inspector Royston Luckenbill oh dear. Uh, uh, reminds the public that the alleged murderer known as Foggy Jack does not exist. No, he's just a fairy tale, states Inspector Luckenbill. Oh, he lied! That's meant to say. How horrible those are. <laughs> there are definitely no victims found in the street in the morning with certain uh, organs surgically removed. No. And oh, even shut if there up. were, even if there were, what on earth were those people doing out after dark, eh? Everyone except the constables should be at home listening to Uncle Jack's bedtime story. Kill him. I'm sure that the girls in question were just running carelessly with, with scissors. Oh, yes, well, as we all know, one can't be too careful doing arts and crafts, can one? Oh, oh and Jack, you must have pair of islands on the move. It wasn't a pig. Wasn't it a lovely idea for the Uncle Jack fan club to have a contest to be my producer? <laughs> if only they'd done it on merit instead of a random drawing. Ah, ah yes. well, we can't have everything, can we? Let's see what we have here. Oh, dear. Constable Winslow has solved the mystery of the large pig spotted behind the King's Arms last Friday night. <laughs> 
Well, I'm afraid we're not going to get any bacon this time. No. It turns out it was only Jim Dixon. <laughs> Jim. It turns out it was only Jim Dixon attempting to find his keys in the alley. At least that's what Jim said he was doing. And we're all sure that Jim wasn't drunk at all, was he? <laughs> Remember, joy can make you look at things a little bit. Please wake up, people. So Please. If you're not sure, Please. there's no harm in asking a friend if he's seeing the same thing you are. You didn't Next say card. It. Anytime. No. No, black. This one. I love the game of Simon Says. Do you? Shall we play one right now? Yes? Let's. I don't. Simon says, if you're a producer, send me some news. Hmm. <laughs> Simon says, if you're head of the Uncle Jack fan club, don't run this silly contest anymore. <laughs> Simon says, somebody please make sure I have extra joy in my dressing room. And remember to keep the strawberry and chocolate ones separate. You. Well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Yes. <laughs> well, and none too soon for our producer He's going to go today. kill me. He's going to well, go kill me. I suppose not everybody can be even slightly competent, can they? Perhaps they can come back an opposite day, since they do everything exactly the opposite of what they're supposed to do. Ha ha ha! Goodbye and good luck. You'll need it. Yes. I'm happy. Oh, shit. I want to see if someone comes through that door. Well, uh, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> I do wish you could be here, dear viewers. It, well, it looks like somebody's having a party in the... What a minute. I know what I just did. Joy, guys. Is this what happens to Sir Staples? No one really wants that anymore, Staples. You're happy. That is creepy. This man is just a fucking dust on his face. We're taking crack or some shit. Jesus Christ, you don't want to. How is this happy? You're standing on top of a billboard. You're mopping me. You're standing on nothing. Let's try a stranger on for a while. Oh, it's good. Are you sure? Yeah. I don't want to see this bullshit. <laughs> like, let's try out the archives. Fucking gosh, don't tap it. There we go. Why? Oh, that. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. The sun is up, and the weather is overcast and only slightly rainy, with occasional patches of lovely sunshine. Wakey, wakey, everyone. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. What happens when you have to make gosh darn editors Good do it? Good morning to you. <laughs> well, I hope you all had a lovely night's sleep with lovely oh, shit. It's shaping up to be a wonderful morning, and I think I can promise you that it's just going to get better all through the day. We all forget things from time to time. So don't forget the most important thing. Is it your team? Is it your music? Best humor. I love some humor. <laughs> ah. Hello. Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I tell the jokes, but you send them. It's a joke. And the first joke comes he's from broke as a Gibson joke, and now he's Brown. actually a joke. Mr. Gibson says, Well, how could this day get any worse? Oh, that's us. Jams, yeah? Sorry, everyone. 
that blast off. Let's try. Pray. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? The Shrek. Can you give me my key? You, you don't already know. Is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in fucking rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No. Yeah, that happiness is a psych that drug that I've taken is a psychological drug. Wiki, wiki, everybody. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington well. Do what you should be doing. And you never have to worry. Sally. Oh no, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for it. It's a fucking terrible day for it. If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. Where is it? Where's the blackberry? You've gone too far this time. Wow. People won't face back. Excellent. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. August 10, 2018. Hmm. Guess it's like a trailer game then? Oh, I'll get shoes. I won. Um. Where is Huma Hour? Pick this up. Play with. Wait, wait, let me find number one. Let's play with Jack 2. Naughty night. Well, it's getting late, isn't it? And it's Back to him now. Can you stop being a witch. Part of the I can't believe he has to be a joke every time. Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour, the show where you tell me jokes. Well, actually, I well, actually. you send them in. And the first joke comes from Winston Smith of Bad. I'm going to go back to the other one and see if I can not make the power go out. And it plugs and looks at this and just points at me, going, you're dead. <laughs> and everyone bangs on my window. Right, let's see if I can stop that from happening. Not make it happen, but stop it from happening. Start. Oh dear. Huh. That sounds like the ventilator's a bit off. Shame. It sent a lovely whiff of joy into the air. Just. Uh, uh, the switch. Stepping on the cable. Turn the knob. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> We're back again. Hello there. You must be the winner of the Uncle Jack Fan Club's Get to Know Jack contest. <laughs> I haven't started airing yet, buddy, so if you would, if you would kindly just stop, you know, alright? I'm Uncle Jack, and I'm always happy to meet my fans. See, that's my happy feels. That's so cool, yeah. Over on your right, you'll see the news feeding machine. On my right? That's how you feed me the news stories I'm supposed to read. To your right. You're to your right. right. You'll see three new stories to choose from. You'll try to give me a happy one, won't you? <laughs> Some of the writers get a little mischievous. Mm. Are you too happy? I'm gonna go, are you too happy? 
You can only feed me news after I finish reading the preview story. The machine will light up to tell you when to send me. <laughs> Isn't technology wonderful? Shoot. You'll have to read the story I'm reading before you send me another one. <laughs> you wouldn't want me to get muddled, would you? No. <laughs> of course not. Rise! I'm saying, rise! It's a joke. Can you rise? Rise! On in five, four, three. Rise! Rise! That's what he said, yeah. Come at me, you motherfucker. And now Fuck for the good you. news hour with Uncle Jack. <laughs> That's me, Jack Worthing. I'll give you all the good news you need to start your day. I'm flipping you off right now, I'm flipping you with a birdie, but I can't. The they get, the less they can do. <laughs> if this is you, not to worry. You're just overdosing on joy. When you've had a little too much joy, about all you can really do is laugh and skip and run and play and wait till your joy comes down to a normal level. In the meantime, Enjoy the pink chimney smoke and the lovely music that alarms make when they go off. And the jolly laughs that the bobbies make when they're protecting us from downers. Gave you the happy one. Boogie Jack strokes again. Next item. Sorry, sorry, I'm Last a little week's bit late. Last Hamlin Hopscotch tournament was such a success ago. that it's going to be repeated. All will gather Thursday at 2 p.m. for the festivities. Mrs. Clyde Featherbottom will provide tea and cakes. Don't be late, or Mrs. Featherbottom will be very cross with you. <laughs> Next card, please. Constable Winslow has solved the mystery of the large pig spotted behind the King's Arms pub last Friday I night. I never heard this before, but it's still well, the happiest one. I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to get any bacon this time. It turns out it was, only, well, it was only Jim Dixon attempting to find his keys in the alley. At least, that's what Jim said he was doing. And uh, we're all quite sure that he wasn't drunk at all, was he? No. <laughs> Remember, joy can make you look at things a little hopefully. So, if you're not sure, there's no harm in asking a friend if he's seeing the same thing you are. <laughs> Next card. Now, we don't know who thought it would be a jolly laugh, but some of the village compliment machines have been offering rather backhanded praise. <laughs> I don't know who thought it would be a good idea to make an amateur my producer today, but, oh well. Apparently, a citizen heard a compliment machine say, you look well for your age. And what a creative hairdo. <laughs> Perhaps my producer would enjoy spending time with one of these cheeky machines. The executive committee has ordered a full inspection of village compliment machines. Now, should you encounter a cheeky compliment machine, kindly turn it off using the large red button and report it to the nearest police constable. Don't worry, darling. You really do look marvelous. Next card. Missing cat. Mrs. Helen Dainty offers a reward to anyone returning her beloved cat, Sebastian, who went missing at the village picnic. <laughs> Sebastian can be recognized by his adorable pointy face, pink eyes, long hairless tail, yellow teeth, and jaunty pink bow. <laughs> Sounds like an adorable kitty, doesn't he? If you see Sebastian, please catch him and return him to Miss Dainty at Thomasina House. And don't eat him. That would be rude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a bit of excitement, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Yes. <laughs> our producer did a pretty swell job for a fan, don't you think, eh? I'm just gonna... Brace for cover. Oh shit, the pain. Well, uh, wasn't that exciting? <laughs> I do wish you could be here, dear viewers. It, well, it looks like somebody's I don't, don't want to be happy. I don't want to be happy. There are 
There are Hello. so many happy, excited people there. So, so many. Hmm. Perhaps somebody ought to check in and, uh, well, make sure that they're not breaking anything. <laughs> people tend to get carried away sometimes, don't they? I'm my you know, happy button. Even better. Why, joy, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, I bet we'd all have an even better time if somebody would just flood the visitor's gallery with joy, right? You can never be too careful. <laughs> Any time now? Yes, just, just fire up the little ventilation system and spread the joy all around. Just like old Scrooge did Christmas. Yeah. And wouldn't we all love a nice Christmas turkey about now? You know, almost anything could be a Christmas turkey with, with enough joy. Seriously, if somebody would just do whatever it is that you do, turn on the joy in the ventilators. No! What's the... I don't want joy gas, you drug ass piece of shit. You fucking cocaine addict. addict. Fuck you. Jesus man. Man, now I'm fucked. Very shocking though. You've got a broken name on your hand. Fuck you! Piss off, fucker. Fucking gas, dude. I want someone to fucking come and tell the floor, fucking petrify my ass. Wow. We'll leave it and we'll end it here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.